Hi, I am Raffaele Battaglini. I'm a qualified lawyer in Italy based in Turin, and I act as chief legal officer at JUR. We know that contract formation, negotiation, and dispute resolution are something troublesome, uh, time-consuming, a waste of energy and resources. JUR tries to solve all these issues by enabling a blockchain-based ecosystem uh, fueled by the JUR token, which is a hybrid utility payment token, and allowing users to create smart legal contracts with embedded dispute resolution system. Smart legal contracts are natural language contracts linked to smart contracts. The Jura editor identifies the obligations that can be automated and link those obligations to smart contract. For example, creation of escrow account, payments and dispute resolution system. In this way, the smart legal contracts prevent dispute. As a matter of fact, if you have a well-written contract with embedded performance and dispute resolution and enforcement, you have strong contracts, strong agreements that effectively prevent disputes. Any user can create, upload, customize and sell smart legal contracts templates through the Jure marketplace. As mentioned, Jure offers dispute resolution services. In particular, there are three different mechanisms, the court layer, the open layer, and the community layer. In any case, any party can open a dispute at a fraction of the usual cost and saving lots of time. The court layer is the traditional arbitration procedure built on blockchain and is designed for high value and complex disputes. The court layer is based on arbitration hubs and anyone can create an arbitration hub. Who creates an arbitration hub is called an admin and the admin has several tasks. First of all, the admin has to choose if the arbitrators will be chosen centrally by the admin itself or through a decentralized mechanism. Then the admin is required to stake Jure tokens and the amount of staking Jure tokens not only will work as an anti-corruption tool but will determine the value of the disputes that that specific arbitration hub can deal with. And finally, the admin is required to draft rules, arbitration rules, that are compliant with the New York Convention and with the ancestral model law. As a matter of fact, the court layer is designed to provide arbitration awards, fully compliant with the national and international laws, and enforceable according to the New York Convention. The blockchain technology is applied to the entire procedure on an arbitration hub and for hashing documents and evidences. Also, the provisional uh, award, the provisional arbitration award, is sent for peer review to arbitrators from another arbitration hub. If the outcome is positive, then the provisional arbitration award becomes the final arbitration award. Otherwise, another arbitrator will be appointed instead. If the court layer has been built in order to solve issues of a traditional alternative dispute resolution system, the arbitration, the open layer is a totally new mechanism entirely based on blockchain technology and on decentralization principles. We believe that the open layer is well suited for, for disputes with a value below 500 euros, meaning microclaims that the parties would not seek to solve because it would be too expensive or because they live in different jurisdictions. Through the open layer, any party can open a dispute, asking the Jure token holders to express a vote. And while doing so, each party is required to offer a proposal to solve the matter. And then the Jure token holders will have the possibility to cast a vote by staking Jure tokens on party A, 
or party B, or even rejecting the dispute as such. The party receiving the higher amount of votes will gain, if previously, if previously escrowed in a smart contract, a certain amount of tokens, while the parties do not pay the jur token holders for expressing the vote. As a matter of fact, the majority side will gain the tokens staked by the minority side. The voting system on the open layer is based on game theory, meaning economic incentives and disincentives in order to have an anti-bribery and anti-corruptible system. Incentivizing the Jur token holders and the parties as well to behave in an honest way and to express votes in order to address the proposal that the Jur token holders believe to be the most fair. The open layer is designed to offer solution to a disputes in 24 hours. Finally, we have the third dispute resolution mechanism offered by Jure, that is called the community layer. At community layer level, there will be several communities or hubs with a certain degree of specialization. For example, there would be communities made only by lawyers or by professors, by engineers. Um, this means that the parties will be required to choose beforehand to which community they want to bring their dispute. And only members of that specific hub, of that specific community, will be allowed to cast votes, to stake your tokens. We believe that the community layer is well suited for disputes with a value between 500 euros and 5,000 euros. I do thank you all of you and in particular Tatiana Rivoredo and INSPER Institute for this opportunity to talk about JUR, to tell you what we have been doing so far. If you wish to go deeper, Please have a look at our website, jur.io, or send me emails at raffaele at jur.io. And do not forget to follow us on social media for updates, and see you next time.